So staying with the topic of arcs and angles, we're going to talk about a special kind of angle called an inscribed angle. An inscribed angle has its vertex on the circle. So this angle's vertex is P and it's on the circle and its sides form chords of the circle. So its other points have to form chords of the circle, which this does. So angle VPE intercepts VE, this arc right here, such that the measure of this angle is half the measure of this arc. So if we know that the measure of angle VPE is 40 degrees, the length of arc VE has to equal 80 degrees because this is twice the length of this or this is one half the length of this. So now we're going to do an example. So we know we have e these three angles which form a triangle. Each one of these angles in is an inscribed angle because its vertex is on the circle and its sides form co chords of the circle. So first they want the measure of arc JB. JB. Okay. So JB is captured by the angle G. So that means that this angle is half the length of JB. So 65 is equal to half the length. We're just going to call this arc X. So we're going to multiply both sides by 2 to find what X equals. And X equals 130 degrees. So the length of that is 130 degrees. Now they want the measure of arc GB. So GB is captured by this angle J. So that means that this length, we're going to call it Y, is twice the size of J. Or J, which is 53, is equal to half the length of this, which is Y. So you could set it up that way, or you could say that or you could say that y is equal to two times the measure of this angle which is 53 either way you have to multiply by 2 and you'll get 106 for the measure of y so GB has a measure of 106 degrees. Now finally, they want the measure of G JG. So JG is captured by this angle X, but we don't know the measure of angle X, so we're going to use our r rules of in the interior angles of a triangle to solve for x. So we know that the measures of it of the angles of on the inside of a triangle has to be 180. So we're going to take 53 plus 65 plus x and set it equal to 180. If you add these two up, you get 118 is e plus plus x is equal to 180. If you subtract 118 over you'll get x is equal to 62 degrees. So now that we've finished that, we're done for the day, but make sure you come back and watch the next video where we talk about arcs and chords and their relationship to one another.